Hey guys, creative photography manipulation has become very easy with the latest version of Photoshop. In this video, I will show you why you need the latest version of Photoshop installed on your desktop. And also for those of you that don't have it running on your desktop, I will show you how to get it for completely free towards the end of this video. And with no further ado, let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is to duplicate background. Duplicate the background layer and rename the background copy subject. The next thing we are going to do is to click on the remove background. If you are not seeing this contextual tax bar right here, come to your window and make sure you click on contextual tax bar. Now let's click on it. You see it's no longer showing. So if you come to window and click on contextual tax bar, you can see this tax bar showing right here so now click on remove background now under photoshop i have removed the background hold ctrl and click on this layer max the subject layer max click on it i can see the section it has made so to refine selection we are going to use our quick selection tool so come and select the quick selection tool and now if your if your mouse pointer is showing like this after selecting any tool from your toolbar Click on Caps Lock to return it to the original symbol of that particular tool. So right now, you can click on these areas to find the adjustment. And for areas like this that you want to create new selection, hold Alt to invert the selection and then click on this area to remove the selection. Use your bracket, open and close key to adjust the size of the quick selection and then click like this to make this selection. When you are satisfied with your selection, now you are going to remove this particular one and then we are going to create a new selection. So let's delete this object, create another subject, rename subject once again, and now create a new layer max like this. And this selection is better than the first one. Now click on your background layer. After clicking on your background layer, Hold Ctrl and click on your subject to make the selection. Come to select, modify, expand, expand by 5 pixels and then click on OK. Come to select again and then inverse your selection. After doing that, we are going to now manipulate the background. Click on generative view and now you can see it says describe what you do like to generate. Or feel free to leave this blank English only so now let's just click on generate leaving the whole thing blank to see what the generative is going to do for us now due to the outfit the model is putting on you can see it's telling us the generated image violates their user guide so what we are going to do now we are going to type plain background now let's generate and see what is going to give us this time so after we typed in play background you can see it's giving us background that have been edited and have been played out all the blemishes all the wrinkles have been removed and this used to take a lot of time to do manually in Photoshop. I can see AI is not doing it automatically for us just by typing in a prompt. So to even get more creative, we are going to type in beach. Let's be very simple with our prompt beach. And I'll click on generate. And here are the results we are getting. This is the first variation. This is the second variation. You can see for this one, there's this reflection, this realistic reflection that AI has created for us. So you can see that the manipulation is just mind blowing, just with a prompt beach. You can see how amazing this is. If you are not satisfied with this particular one, you click on generate again, and you can see the AI will go on to create more variation as you continue to click. So you create three variations, you check if you are okay with it, you save it. If you are not okay with it, you click on generate again. From this point, you can want to retouch your image. 
and also color grade it. You can check the channel for videos on how to retouch your images. For those of you that do not have the latest version of Photoshop running on your PC or Mac, you can check this channel. I've put out a couple of videos on how to set up Photoshop, latest version of Photoshop on your desktop for completely free. If you follow the instruction in the video, you can, you can get Photoshop running on your PC for absolutely free. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section right now. Also, please like this video if you find it insightful. Please subscribe to this channel and turn on post notifications for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorials. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.